In this video, I'll explain how the Show Me the Parts WordPress plugin that we built um, works and give you just a demonstration of some of the functionality. So, first, uh, let me say thank you to GMB.net for letting us demonstrate the plugin on their website. We built the website for them and developed the plugin for them. Uh, so, anyway, thanks to them, and of course, thanks to Show Me the Parts for letting us build off their API. Uh, the WordPress plugin has three types of searches built in. You can do a search by year, make, model. You can do a search by VIN. You can do a search by part number. So let me show the year, make, model first because that's probably the easiest to understand. So the list of years that we pull in here uh, is based on data from Show Me the Parts API. So if you have coverage going back, if your manufacturer has covering coverage going back to the 19, you know, 40s or uh, which I believe GMB does, then um, then that's what will show up on your website. If you've got coverage going back to 2004, then then that's all we'll see. Once the consumer or the website user picks a year, then they're given a list of makes. And again, this is all based on the data that's in the Show Me the Parts database. So if you don't have any coverage for 2015, for example, then there will be no list uh, here shown for makes. If you only have a limited number of models for 2015 for Chevrolet, for example, that's all that will be shown. But in the case of GMB, they've got lots of coverage. So good good for our purposes for demonstration. So the last options here are the part type and the engine. And as you can see on a 2015 Corvette there's only one engine option. So as soon as I picked water pump, our plug-in knew, okay, well there's only one engine option left, so go ahead and pull in that data. I'll go ahead and pick something that's got a little bit more variety just so we can demonstrate some of the functionality. So once the consumer picks a product or a vehicle, and picks a part type. Then we have a list of engine options that are available and once that's chosen we have a list of part numbers. Now for each part we're going to the Show Me the Parts database to get the data here. So for example this part number we have one photo and then we have some attributes for that part, weight, dimensions, and then we have a, a buyer's guide or list of fitments. Uh, for this other part we've got a little bit more data I think uh, looks like the fitment range has opened up a little bit and we definitely have more photos. And this is all standard functionality here. Nothing is custom that you see. Uh, this is all built into our plugin. Uh, we can also search by VIN numbers. So I pulled up a uh, 1994 Mustang convertible here on um, eBay and just so I can grab the, the VIN number and I'll reload this page. So you can see kind of how it would work from a consumer standpoint. So consumer or website user can put in their VIN number and as soon as they choose a part type or try to choose a part type, our plugin goes to show me the parts uh, via the API, figures out the year, make, model, the engine, then gets a list of all the uh, parts that are available for that vehicle. And then when we choose whatever type of part it is that we're interested in, we get all this data that we're accustomed to seeing. And in the case of this 94 convertible, there's actually quite a few products available. The last functionality uh, is pretty basic, but it's um, it's cool to see, and that's your just your part number search. This uh, pretty straightforward, but where, where this is really handy, uh, I'll show you is um, all of these uh, search functions are widgets that can be added to any WordPress page. Uh, it's actually a block of widgets, but um, we can customize that anyway. So if I go to one of the other pages on the GMB website, and I just want to search for this part number real quick. I can do that. So consumers, no matter where they are, can find your parts. But when I use the widget to find a part, I get a URL with the unique part, um, unique uh, parameters here that I can link to. So in other words, now that I have a, um, a URL that allows me to dynamically link to a part search result, I could create an article on the blog or um, put a link on Twitter or Facebook that would link to the exact search results that I wanted. And, and it's not just a part number search that you can do this with. You can do this with year, make, and model. Uh, the last thing I want to show is just how you can embed this widget in other ways. So we, again, we built the uh, base plugin as a package of widgets, but uh, we pulled out the year, make, model widget and put that on the home page for GMB so that when someone, again, probably a consumer, visits this website and wants to know what coverage is available for their car, they can do that. And, um, you know, as far as the consumer is concerned, this is about as easy as it gets. And there's the part they need. So, 
Anyway, if you have any other questions about this uh, product or this WordPress plugin, I should say, please contact us. Obviously, we need to build this on top of a, a functional Show Me the Parts cam uh, account uh, with an API license. And uh, again, special thanks to GMB for letting us demonstrate.